sorry about that. <laughs> it's been a little bit of time. It is now um, 10.05 um, in the AM on this 30th day of November. Um, I was talking a little bit ago about different things and um, the camera had went out and um, um, because the footage that I had about that ham that I was telling you guys about, that needed to be uploaded, taken from the camera, as well as the video that I did talking about everything. Um, it had filled it up the, the capacity, so I had to transfer everything to the laptop. So I'm back on doing the other half, and I recall that I left off about my relationship and... You know how you know how things are, and you know, and all this kind of stuff. Um, but then, too, uh, on this little hiatus, my auntie had called, and um, her and I had been on the phone, and we were talking about spiritual journeys and you know growth and different stuff. And we were, um, she's um, gonna smudge, doing some smudging, and um, so I was telling her that she can go and get um, the sage from Sprouts. And, um, so, you know, we were talking about different things. Um, thank you to Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia was the one that told me that she, she said, Tina, I got mines from, um, Sprouts. And so, um, so yeah. So, uh, Cynthia, I just, um, um, shared that with my auntie, um, that she can go get that from Sprouts. So, good looking out, um, for telling me that about a, what, what, about a month or so ago, a couple months ago, whatever. But good looking out, mamas. Um, but um, anyway, y'all, and I was talking to my auntie about, you know, because my auntie, you know, she's worried about me. You know, that's my, that's my, that's, you know, she's my closest and my nearest and dearest. You know what I mean? Everybody got to have somebody that they talk to. And, and my auntie is that for me. And um, when I first came on here, I know I was all over the place because I was waiting on my auntie to talk to me. See, once... Now, you can tell I'm a little bit more mild because she done kind of took some of the kinks out. So, what y'all was getting over there was some straight up raw shit. And, and then, too, I was already on 10. And so, I'm still, you know what I'm saying, I'm about 8 right now. You know what I mean? But uh, still, you know, at that point in time, nigga, I, nah, nigga, I was on 11. Fuck what you going through. I was laced around 11, 12, somewhere around up in there. You know what I mean? I was dancing up off some... Uh, Crescent type shit, yeah. So, anyway, but uh, um, I was talking about my relationship. So, damn, it seems like I got something in my goddamn nose. I don't know. Y'all, listen. Listen. Can I, t girls, look, look, let me feel. Now I'm, now I'm being more cautious and cognitive about different things. You know, I'm kind of being mindful of shit a little bit more, you know. I'm just used to being... Uh, raggedy at the house and laid back and stuff and you know I'm not used to getting all dolled up all the time and the reason why I say I'm dealing with a Kanye because he likes me to be dolled up all the fucking time you know what I mean now me being dressed down yeah that's cool and, and he thinks that I'm just as adorable either way but it's something about that ba ba boom that got him fucked up. He that he won't ba ba boom every time we. Oh, I can't do ba ba boom every time it's time for us to go some motherfucking where. You know what I mean? So that's what let let's go into that, okay? Ba ba boom. Can we go into ba ba boom for a minute? Because okay, y'all, I for real feel like I got something in my motherfucking nose. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me check some shit out. I really feel like I got something in my motherfucking nose. So we need to double check that, you know. And what's so crazy, here, check it for me. No, not really much of nothing of concern. Not really nothing of concern, you know. But I guess my shit is looking crazy. Now that I done looked in the motherfucking mirror, like, wait a minute, bitch. You can tighten this up just a little bit. Oh, well. It's whatever shit. You know what I mean? It's whatever. Fuck that. I'm not finna have my self-esteem fucked up and constantly checking my shit, you know, because another motherfucker feel like, because I'm gonna tell you, I'm just not accustomed to that. It's like this motherfucker be fixing my collar and, you know, he be fixing my shit, you know, and I'm like, damn, 
I'm just not used to that. I'm used to just getting out and, and jetting out, nigga. So what, nigga? Um, you know, um, shit, fuck that shit. Judge me on my character. Fuck what I got going on or what I'm wearing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My marriage should be based on how I am as a person. I'm not a, I'm, listen, I'm not no glamour girl and all that. I'm not, and, and no disrespect or no nothing like that to the girls that are that way. But I'm just not her. You know what I mean? I'm not a woman that has to be on all the time. You know, I don't feel that, you know, I got to have some makeup on to go outside. I go outside like this, and it's toe the fuck up. You know what I mean? Shit be twisted up on my goddamn head half the fucking time. You know? But it's so what? So what? So what? Who cares? If my shit don't match, if my shit is too tight, if my shit don't go with that shit, or whatever... So what? She put, uh, uh, what, what? Silver with gold. So what? So what? She got a sweater on and got short pants on. So what? I got jeans on with, uh, I mean, jean shorts on with some boots. So what? So what? It's just me. My hair is thin as a motherfucker. It's going to always be that way to the day I die. I got a length, but my shit is thin. So what? Did that, does that make me unattractive? Does that make me unattractive? Because, okay, my ass might not be as round as, as, as yours. Or, you know, my skin tone might be a little bit darker or deeper than yours. Or uh, my waist might be bigger than yours. Or, I don't know, I cuss a little bit more than you. Or whatever, whatever the get down is. So what? Respect a, another person's get down. You know what I mean? Respect that. And I guess I'm saying that is because the reason why I said I'm dealing with a Kanye is because he checks my every fucking move. And I'm like, whoa, I'm not accustomed to this. And that's what me and my auntie was just because, you know, while that was doing that. And me and my auntie was talking, and me and my auntie, I mean, you know, hell, shit. You know, we talking about every motherfucking thing. And I'm like, auntie, you know, because this motherfucker told me he didn't like my goddamn shoes. I was like, oh. He was like, nah, throw them motherfuckers away. What? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. He was like, no, them little flip-flops right there, nah, throw them motherfuckers away. They, they, that, that's trash now. Do we need to go get you some more shoes? I was like, oh my God. I was embarrassed. I was fucked up. I was literally fucked up. But his get back was so cold. I was like, wow. Because he was like, well, look, I, I buy you some more. I buy you some more flip flops. That, that's what baby wants, baby gets. But I don't like them ones, though. So if, since I don't like them ones, can we just go get you another pair of shoes right quick? What, 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 what kind you want to do? What you want to do? You want to go to the mall? What? Yeah, he's that guy. And, I mean, it's cool, but, you know, I could see this shit going a couple of motherfucking places, and I done told my auntie that, you know, I don't know. And, I mean, he do some things that he's over-possessive, I think. I'm starting to see those tendencies. I could be speaking too prematurely, but I'm a realist. I'm a Virgo. You know what I mean? And, but it just seemed like you got some possessive motherfucking qualities, my nigga, that it's like, whoa, and I ain't afraid. You know, because I ain't already told him. You know, I ain't already told that motherfucker. I said, look, check this out. I'm seeing some shit in your ass. And you, motherfucker, you might go 51 one day. And if in case that you decide to go ahead on and take on that extra 50, nigga, I'm going to fight your ass. Now, I, now you, you, you're taller than me, you strong, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? You a man, a woman can't beat no man. But, however, though, I'm not going to be that one that's going to be crying and, oh, you're that stupid. I'm not that one. I'm, I'm just, I ain't never been that, okay? Now, we're going to fight, nigga, we're going to fight. Now, of course, you're going to be able to take me now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tattoo your ass. You know, and we just talking and just jokes and playing and shit. You know what I mean? Because we joke and play. You know what I'm saying? We play games and, you know what I'm saying? And, 
you know, our our competitive spirit, we'd be talking shit when Domino play, playing and like even when we was playing um um bowling. When we went bowling the other night, that was my second time ever done it. They put the, the side things up for me because I needed that. And shit, nigga, uh, nigga, I got an 85, nigga, but I was talking more shit than the motherfucker that was in the building and shit. And I was like, damn, is she winning? Uh, nigga, um, I got this right here, but this is what's happening. What? Look, holla. And it was like, oh, my God, she talking more shit and she ain't got nothing but this right here. Boy, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. I made it live, though. I made it live. They was like, shit, we want to kick it with them. They having fun over there. Shit, they talking shit and having fun and shit. And nigga, hey, because we came in on 10. We already came in on 10. You know what I mean? And so it was like, uh, shit, let's go in here and let's bowl. I was like, oh, shit, I don't know what the baby, I ain't never done this before. I was paranoid and shit. He was like, why are you tripping? I was like, because I'm paranoid. I don't even understand why and shit. Yeah, I'll be tripping sometimes. We be having fun, though, y'all. We be clowning. That is my baby for real. But that Kanye shit, though, my nigga, look. Hey, let me tell you something. Uh, I never told you. I mean, I, hey, we, we be joking and we playing and all that old type shit. But I ain't, no, I ain't no little punk like that. You know what I mean? I ain't no, you know, I, I don't know. And I guess he can tell, too. I guess his motherfucker was trying to test my resolve a little bit. You know what I mean? On some old wrestling, tickling and shit. I was like, okay, motherfucker, did you feel that? Okay, that let you know it's more where that come from, motherfucker. That right there, yeah. Because I took women's self-defense and all that old type of shit, nigga. I know how to take an arm out of socket and bend your thumb back and shit. I can do some shit to your motherfucking ass. That where, you know, I ain't got to do a whole bunch of impact, nigga. But that right there, damn, I felt that. Did you feel that? Yeah. I can do some things to your motherfucking ass that will good night your ass. Understand that. So I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no little punk like that. I be on some low key ghetto MacGyver, nigga. I ain't gonna, I will fuck you up on some real one hundred, okay? And so, you know, it seems like he be trying to test my resolve, you know, to see if I'm about that life or whatever, nigga. Don't test me. Quit doing that shit because uh, one of these motherfucking time niggas, the shit gonna get out of hand, motherfucker, and uh, somebody gonna have to be called. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I mean, not saying that, you know, we, we, we have this type of volatile thing. I don't want nobody kicking in like, uh-oh, what y'all be doing, nigga? What is this, Bonanza? Nah, cut it out. I'm just bullshitting with you. I'm just, because we play a lot. We have fun. So I don't want nobody now chiming in like, uh-oh, wait a minute. What you got going on, girl? I knew, girl. Because people always want to try to find some shit that's fucked up to where, girl, I did not tell you that shit wasn't going to last in this motherfucking month. Girl, I told you that motherfucker right here, girl, please, honey. That nigga, so-and-so used to be with that nigga back in the day. That, get well, If you don't calm the fuck down, because motherfuckers will always try to find some shit to gravitate to, won't they? Try to find a loophole in some shit, some kind of way to gravitate to, find some shit that can stick somewhere. Girl, didn't I tell you, girl, that bitch was man, I told you, girl, didn't I, girl, motherfuckers be, girl, didn't I just, man, calm down, okay, I got it, I'm good. Please understand, every chapter of my life required different me, and I ain't mad at it. I respect my path, I'm having fun. I'm having fun in the motherfucker. That's why I was just telling my auntie right now. My auntie was like, Niece, you crazy this motherfucker. Yeah, I'll be that. Um, I got the shirt on, all that old type of shit. Nigga, the hat got rhinestones in the front, something else. Yeah, I'll be that. Yeah, I will be that motherfucker. I will be that. I'm her. Okay, picture in the post office and all that old type of shit, huh? Yeah, I'll be that. I'll be something else, but I'm having fun, and I believe as though I made enough sacrifices in my life to do this. I made sacrifices to be able to live. Can I live, please? Hmm? Can I live? I'm just saying, can a motherfucker live or not? Okay? Can I live? Can I just live and just be comfortable in this life and have fun and dance and sing out loud and dance in the motherfucking rain? Huh? Can I do that? Can I have a just crazy ass sex and smoke on the coldest ass motherfucking blood? Huh? Can I just live? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to live. That's all. I'm just having fun. This chapter right now is so motherfucking cold blood, you ain't even understand it. And I got this nigga right here that I'm so, you know, we, I mean, damn, I ain't never been in nothing that you so fucking sexually attracted to each other. The magnetism is crazy. Nigga, our vibration is cold. It's like, damn, nigga, is there anything? Is there anything? Nigga, if you don't lock that door right now, quit bullshitting me. Yeah. Huh? 
Nigga, if you don't put your motherfucking leg up on that goddamn treadmill handle right now, we talk so much shit like that to one another, just all of a sudden, goddamn, shit, push all that shit off the countertop right there. Shit, let's see what that do. We one of them. Sex in the kitchen over by the stove. Hot. Hey, butter, butter, roll. Hands on it, in on the tippy toe. All that shit. Yeah. Huh? I'm about ready to toss your salad. Yeah, that nigga played the whole role. Why am I mean that? Butter, butter, roll. Okay, excuse me. My bad, you know? See, who is this? Who's is this? Who's is this? Who's is this? Who's is this? Okay, that let you know we be listening to R. Kelly, right? Nigga, we be on some R. Kelly shit, nigga. It be like it's a smokehouse in this motherfucker. We be chilling so goddamn tough. Go and go get my fucking piece of some golden bird or whatever. Look, <clears throat> we're going to lock the front door, okay? And, nigga, we up in this piece, and we having fun. We dominoing, we whatever, nigga. We having fun. We have fun, but we just talk so much shit to one another that it's just like, wow, man, it's cool. I'm just having fun, shit. But my auntie is a little nervous for me. She's like, okay, having fun, shit. And one day this nigga gonna come brand new. It's gonna, then they gonna become real unfamiliar. Auntie, okay, auntie, I got it, I got it. Unfamiliar and all that. I got all that old type of shit. I'm watching things, okay? Please understand. Now, I'm levitated just slightly, just a little bit. I'm on this magic carpet ride, but understand that I will put my motherfucking foot out, nigga, like one of the Flintstones and stop this whole motherfucker. Okay? Please understand, I know how to put my foot out. I'll fuck up all the skin off the bottom of this motherfucker. I know how to put my, skin, my foot down and say, you know what, look, check this out, nigga. No more of this right here. I'm cool. Huh? I know how to do that. I'm the queen of it, and I'm a queen of goodbye. I know how to say goodbye, too, nigga. Huh? Shit. So, uh, anyway. But, uh... Yeah, so he was telling me he didn't like my shoes one day. Fuck me up. He told me he didn't like my shoes. Motherfucker told me my bra wasn't right one day. He didn't like my bra. He was like, that's too tight. I said, ain't that a bitch? Motherfucker, if you don't calm the fuck down, nigga, you're supposed to be driving any motherfucking way. Why is you all over here on this right here? What's up under this right here? Because I see the indention at the top and the bottom. Nigga, get out of my block, goddamn bitch. Nah, I eat, nigga. Yeah. I had to tell him some motherfucking time, if you don't get out of my motherfucking business checking and see if I got a book and shit loose, I'm going to need you to calm the fuck down, sir. I don't need you checking my every motherfucking thing and wiping my goddamn face and shit after I done ate some shit and I got a crumb right there. Let that do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay on my in a few more motherfucking minutes. I just ain't got there yet. Let me close my mouth up some first. Let me handle this shit in my mouth after I get it down enough where my tongue can pick out a little bit. I'm going gra to grab that. I don't need you grabbing it first. This is the shit that I... Girls. <clears throat> fixing my collar. Oh, yeah. Don't let that motherfucker... That motherfucker half shifted my shit now. That motherfucker shift my shit. I was like, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Did you shift my shit, nigga? Wait a minute, did you shift my shit right now? That motherfucker shifted my shit. I didn't know how to feel. My soul was fucked up. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Nigga, did you just shift my shit on the slide right now? Did you just, did this nigga just shift my shit? Yeah. This motherfucker's cold with it. Cold with it. Cold with it. Loving, no. But, yeah, it's one of them motherfuckers that you got to kind of watch this motherfucker. Like, wait a minute, hold on. You know what I mean? This motherfucker be doing body checks. I ain't, I ain't accustomed to. I'm like, now remember the other nigga that I was talking about, you know what I'm saying, with these goddamn, you know what I'm saying, memory candles and shit. That motherfucker, he was one, he was one of them that was low key, you know what I'm saying, let me look at your pussy through the back and all that old type of shit. This motherfucker too. I'm like, what is this right here, nigga? Didn't I just get off the 405, motherfucker? I was just on the freeway. As soon as I get off the goddamn freeway, where the fuck I done be in? I done talked to you all the way from the time I done left my motherfucking driveway. So if, if I done talked to you all this time on the phone, you tell me don't stop, don't get no gas, no nothing, just come straight to the house. Okay, I'm doing that. But as soon as I get there, your motherfucking ass got to look at all up under my goddamn elbow and shit. Nigga, what is you, what is, well, get out from my goddamn arm and shit. 
But it's all this right here. This motherfucker all behind my goddamn ear and shit and all this over there. What? 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 What kind of shit is this? Is, I mean, is this some new shit? Is this? Okay. Because I need to know. Fellas, is this some new shit that y'all motherfuckers is doing to women now that I'm not, I'm just not really hip to? Is this some shit that I'm not, because I'm not accustomed to this. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm not accustomed to this motherfucker. He was like, well, damn. You want that to eat it, right? So how come I can't look at what I'm about to eat first? Damn, nigga, damn. For real? But nigga, you got to look all through each motherfucking part. Hold this up, pull this. Nigga, you ain't got to do all that. What is what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, I'm tripping right now because this is what the fuck I got to deal with. And I was just telling my auntie, you know, but I'm being graphic with my auntie because I know y'all motherfuckers is like, nigga, this nigga's crazy. So, you know, I'm trying to keep it low-key PG, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm teeter-tottering on that R just slightly so, you know? But... You know, this motherfucker, I mean, that motherfucker really like go there. And then when it's time for us to get ready to go somewhere, and now you fixing up all my shit and shit. You know? Okay, yeah, this is just okay. All right, this, this, this. The reason why I said silver and gold, because this motherfucking, this one right here is gold, and these ones right here. And I was like, nigga, if you don't get up out of the way, how, my, how I did that, nigga? I just did that. Okay, I lost the other one. And, yeah, I lost the other one. And, but I like it. So, shit, I put this motherfucker on. Some road rage. These bitches is fighting they ass. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my God. Some road rage shit jumped off. Some bitches in Compton was squabbing. Damn. Okay, anyway, um... But, yeah, so that's where that came from. Because when he's driving and he's looking at me on this side, you know, and that motherfucker's like, okay, well, this is gold. And it, I was like, nigga, this is white gold, old motherfucker. Oh, well, shit. Well, you know, well, damn, baby. Well, how come you just didn't do? I was like, oh, my God. Y'all, hey, look. Motherfucker didn't like my shoes. My bra was too tight. The day that I wore... My maxi dress that I was telling y'all about that I bought from off the rack down there, Ontario Mills Mall, outlet, maxi dress, strapless, bad in the motherfucker, uh, crisscross back in the back, like uh, a whole bunch of little crisscrosses going down the back, all the way down low, back down by the booty part, by, you know, where the indentions and shit is at, right? So you can't wear... An undergarment under there. Usually, I wear some form of undergarment because my booty claps and jiggles and shit. I know that it does that. So, then therefore, when I'm wearing something really thin material that way, I'm wearing something to combat that bullshit. Because I already know that it's getting ready to be filed and wild from the back. So, then therefore, to corral all this right here, uh, nigga, it's called put something on up under that right there. That's what I put on when I was at the motherfucking hospital. I think I talked about it. Maybe I talked to some of my auntie or something. Maybe one of my girls or something. But, and I was talking about that motherfucker realized that bitch was strapless. That nigga was like, if you don't put your motherfucking leg up on this goddamn bed, uh, 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 bed right here. Oh, we called the nurse. I said, ain't that a bitch? Nigga, I fucked around, put my leg up on the motherfucker, getting ready to do this right here. Motherfucking ass called the nurse. I said, oh my God. Yeah. So, anyway, that let you know what the fuck, and the motherfucking nurse came to the door and shit, shit all at the door and shit. She had to know I'm the one that put the shit up to the door. I put all kinds of chairs and motherfucking end tables and shit up to that motherfucker. That bitch got to the door. She was like, ah, oh, but I can't come in, bitch, because we don't need you to come in, motherfucker. Becky, bitch, all I asked you for was his linens, didn't I? Now, we about to fuck these motherfuckers up in a few minutes, bitch, but uh, um, get them from around, I know. Yeah.